My name is Raylene Herrera. I'm a dance teacher in San Diego County, and today I'll be walking you through an activity for your students, teaching them locomotor and non-locomotor movement. Locomotor movement is movement that travels from one location to another or in a pathway through the dance space. Non-locomotor movement is movement that remains in place, movement that does not travel from one location to another or in a pathway through the dance space. Locomotor movement could be anything like running, walking, leaping, hopping, crawling, rolling, anything that can take you from point A to point B. We know that one of the elements of dance is space. We can use locomotor movements or movements that allow us to travel to create pathways in our dance space like zigzags or curved lines. We can use this space to enhance the dance. Non-locomotor movements are movements where you stay in one place. There is no traveling. This could be something like a punch or a kick, maybe um, a stretch or bending, twisting, um, moving our hands open or closed. The point is that our feet stay planted on the ground and we are not moving around the dance space. It can be very difficult for students to distinguish between locomotor and non-locomotor movement. The way that I teach it is I go to the whiteboard and I discuss what locomotor and non-locomotor means. I have the students give me examples of each definition. So I would put run in the locomotor column and bend in the non-locomotor column. Then the students have a list of all of the actions that could fit each one. Around the room, I will place blue tape in zigzag styles or straight line or X marks the spot all around our dance space. Then I'll turn on a song like Un Poco Loco from Disney's Coco or The Locomotion even, something to get them um, thinking that this is a game. Then I will have students travel around the room on these spots saying that they have to be on blue tape at all times. It sort of feels like um, when you would play lava on the floor with couch cushions and you would jump from one spot to the other. So then I would press play and when the music stops, I would shout out either locomotor or non-locomotor. If it's locomotor, students would start traveling along those blue tape lines and they will either crawl or roll or run even. Um, but if it's non-locomotor, they're tempted to want to move and then they realize it's non and they freeze and then they think of something like swinging their arms or twisting their torso. Um, or doing, you know, funny dances with their hands. Um, then it's sort of like a, a mix between red light, green light and um, freeze dance because the music is going and they're just walking around, hanging out, and then the music stops and they have to decide whether they are going to be traveling to um, the next place or whether they are freezing. So that's one simple, very easy way to get it cemented into their brains. Another activity you can do is to have your dancers create a chant um, or a rap <laughs> based on locomotor or non-locomotor movement. Um, you can use the list that we've already created on the whiteboard and have them come up with a chant about locomotor. And these students work on non-locomotor. They explain what it is in their chant and some examples, and then they add movements, almost like a cheer. So they're not only choreographing, but they're um, explaining the vocabulary word back to their peers and when they have that ownership um, it just makes sense in their mind. In the past I've collaborated with our physical education teacher. We put out mats in the auditorium and students were able to experiment with movements that they they otherwise haven't done at school before like rolling um, a somersault maybe even a cartwheel as these can all be locomotor movements. Um, I also taught them some more advanced movements um, like trying to get 
your your leg into a scorpion or trying to extend it um, by bringing your thigh up and then kicking out your leg and pointing. With these um, movements on the mats, the kids are safe and they're able to explore different movements, whether locomotor or non-locomotor, and it got them really excited about adding um, words to the list. I hope these ideas help you in your classroom. I know the two words are pretty big and confusing for students and teachers alike, but the more that you play around with movement, it really is just traveling is locomotor and non-traveling is non-locomotor.